Hi there, it's been some time since I've made a video, but I've been using Lunar Display for at least two years now, I think. And I wanted to give you an update as to uh, how I've been experiencing it and telling you a little bit more about using it. And hopefully you'll see by the end of the video, which I'll try and keep very short, that it is really a product that's worth having a look at. In my case, we're using it with an old iMac. In the screen, you will just you'll see a icon, which is the Astro Pad icon, which is and it's a lunar display dongle. So the lunar display dongle plugs into your main brand new Mac. So you might have a Mac Studio or a Mac Mini. And I'm talking really about the M series. So we're up to M4 right now. When I first made the video on Lunar Display, we only had a, an M1 version. Uh, so the M4s and the M5s are going to be with us. And you can use this also with the MacBook Pros. You plug this device into a DisplayPort powered USB port. So that can be a, a Thunderbolt port or make sure that you're using a display port powered USB port. So here I'm just going to show you the lunar display part of the Astropad website. One of the questions which is commonly asked, which is about which version of the dongle should you buy, USB-C or an HDMI? Now, as you're a Mac user and you are looking to add your iMac as a secondary screen, then you're going to need to use the USB-C port version. So the quick answer, as it says just here, is use the USB-C for Mac. Uh, the HDMI one or the USB-C one is used for Windows users, but USB-C is the one you're going to use. And just uh, also it says uh, Lunar Display for Mac just here. Uh, one of the nice things is the pop up or the pop out, if I can get it to do that now. <laughs> is it not just going to show me? It is. Um, it says the Lunar Display supports USB-C only on Mac devices. And here are some of the compatible Mac models. Um, now, what you need to remember here is that these Mac models are the ones that you plug your USB-C device into. So they would have uh, at least one USB-C DisplayPort compatible USB-C port. So it can be a Thunderbolt or a DisplayPort compatible USB-C port. I just wanted to clarify that it does say and newer. So we go from this point right up into the future where Apple are including still obviously USB-C ports with DisplayPort functionality. And that includes, if I need to just reiterate it, that includes um, Thunderbolt ports. At the bottom, it says Mac Studio, uh, which is quite interesting because it doesn't specify M1, etc. But take it from me that it's an M1 all the way up to at least M5, which is where we are today. I'm actually using an M1 device for my situation. So that's all of those. And remember that that, is compa that compatibility is only for the dongle to be plugged into. Your compatibility for your iMac goes much earlier than that. So if you've got an old iMac, then you can use that as the secondary screen. We do not plug the USB-C dongle into the iMac that you're using as a secondary screen. That simply runs some software called Lunar Display Secondary Software. Hopefully that's clarified some of that. So let's get back to the main part of the video. Now, the other thing I'd like to say is that when I first made the video, I was using a 2013 iMac, which did not have a retina display. I was very happy with that, but I thought that I would really like to try to see how good a retina 5K iMac was. So I bought myself a 2015, I think, retina iMac uh, and I've been using that and I absolutely love the retina screen and the fact that I was able to use a retina screen 
uh, as a secondary screen for my Mac really made a fantastic difference and, and the Luna display is so cheap to be able to do that rather than going out and buying a retina display which can be many hundreds of dollars or many hundreds of pounds I was able to use that and just buy a, a very low cost uh, retina based iMac and use that as my uh, secondary display so I'm going to just show you the display as it sits out here this screen here is a standard Dell monitor, which is plugged into my um, my Mac Studio, which is actually behind it. You can't see it, but it's plugged in using an HDMI cable. This screen where you see me talking to you right now is my iMac. So this is my Retina 2015 iMac, uh, and it works brilliantly. And essentially what I'm able to do is scroll and um, move windows from one screen to the other so I'm going to show you that uh, right now I'm going to move to a different kind of screen just to give you a bit of an idea as to how that that would work so I've just opened up a picture in preview actually and you can see that it's rolling across the screen in both cases and I'm going to move it onto the other screen and you'll see that it works really, really well. There is a bit of a delay in the little mini inset here, just because there is a delay in the way it's being filmed going back through from a, I've got a, a camera here feeding back into the, the system so that you can see everything. But you can see quite easily there that that works very nicely and uh, and just moving it between two. And that's really the essence of what I'm trying to do with the the whole system. I I want to use this screen as a linked screen between the two so that I've effectively got two screens. This is much higher resolution. This is a 5K iMac. This is actually essentially what you call a 2K uh, screen here, but they work perfectly together. So that uh, gives you that idea. If you are questioning a little bit about the color, what I've done is I've color calibrated the iMac separately to the to the main Mac Studio. Uh, if you do that, if you make sure all of your color calibration settings are the same between the two, then it helps Lunar Display to show the screen properly. Um, and you don't get any color shift when you are moving from one screen to the other. Now, what I might do as well, I'll just show you uh, as best I can the way that uh, a video might work and replay between the two, just to give you an idea. Let's see if I can uh, get that to work for you. So this is the video that's on the right hand screen and I'll hit the play button. I don't know quite why this isn't showing any audio on this video that I'm moving over from one screen to the other, but I have to apologize for that. But hopefully it's the video quality. As you see, I moved the screen whilst it's playing from one screen to the other. Um, my finger that is in there is just a video that I made previously. So that's an example of me moving the video player from one screen to the other. Anyway, that's really just showing that you can move a video from one screen to the other and play it quite happily between the two as well. So hopefully that covers that. If you've got an old iMac, and you want to be able to use it as a second screen or if you want to go out and get yourself a cheap iMac with a retina display you can use that as a secondary screen on your brand new M series Mac just by buying a lunar display device which is just looks like that that plugs into your uh, let's say your Thunderbolt port your Thunderbolt based USB port and that will give you the ability to maintain your old iMac, keep it there, not throw it away, give it a second life while you've moved on to your M series Macs. And of course, using two screens is definitely such a productivity enhancement. So I hope you find that that is um, really useful for you. If you have any questions, please 
Ask any questions in the comments below. You'll see a link as well to the Lunar Display site, which is where I recommend that you buy this device if you want it. And um, I look forward to helping you again in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.